Hey people, it's me Tori and welcome back to part 18 of Let's Play Dragon Mania Legends. I'm not doing anything in particular today because there's not really a lot to do in the game right now. But I just thought I'd show my progress and everything. So I'm just sending another dragon to the Dragon Academy because I have quite a few with level 6 skills and everything now. So just leveling this one up to level 6. We've got to choose between On Guard and Final Vengeance. I don't think I've ever had a level 6 metal attack before. So it's like, hmm. On Guard, the positive effect can also absorb 13,822 direct damage. Yes, I know that's not a lot at all. It's not going to be like Stone Shield, which in my opinion is just bad anyway. But this dragon doesn't have a particularly high level, it's like, what, level 32, enchanted to 3 stars. This is just for my dungeon team. It's not bad now, we got 3 level 40s, we got level 33. Yes, it only has 2 elements, but it's easy to enchant to more stars, so we'll just go with it. We got our primal, we got some epics, planning on replacing this rare at some point. It's not bad, it's come a long way from what it was. And if I can just get them all up to their level 6 skills and everything, then that's great. So, on guard or final vengeance? When an ally target with final vengeance is active, it deals 55,288 damage to all opponents. That is quite good. But I'm going to go with on guard. Maybe not the best decision in the world. But it's something. I use Vengeful Sword sometimes anyway because it's nice to have that bit of attack. So might as well put on guard as well and then, you know, shield kind of. I'm really trying to get a candy dragon on this account right now because I don't have one. And you need it to breed the dragon of the week, which is awesome. It's a ginger dragon. I love gingerbread and I really want it. Also, it's like Christmassy, and I love Christmas. And it's honestly really sad to me that it's the 1st of December and I still haven't put up my Christmas tree. I mean, who even am I at this point? <laughs> no, Cloud Dragon! That's the wrong uncommon. I don't think I have a plant dragon on here. I think I got rid of it because I didn't have the space. Right, okay, let's sort that one. <laughs> then at least we can actually... Oh! Oh! Five gems, okay, I'll take that. Because, oh, oh, we have a lot of hatching tokens. It seems like a huge waste to use it now, because I, I still got to wait on this breeding, so. Nope, we're not going to use that right now. But I've got a plant dragon hatching, so maybe we'll actually be able to breed a candy dragon and then hopefully breed this ginger dragon. But we don't have an awful lot of time left, and there's a new legendary. I'm not a huge fan of this legendary, and I already have a legendary on my team, so probably won't use it, but I guess I'll try and breed it if I've got the time. I know most people don't tend to use legendaries as part of their main team, because legendary is not the best element in the world, but legendary dragons are super powerful. Their stats and everything are like really good. And this is only enchanted to one star, and it's a pretty good dragon. It has wind and energy, this auto dragon, and it's kind of cool. I gave it the purity and witchcraft sigils. Obviously, uh, wonder wouldn't be much good for this dragon. Possibly acceptance, but wonder would be pretty useless because it doesn't have, like, water or earth or anything. So that is my auto dragon right now. And I'm using it because I don't have any legendary, I mean, I don't have any divines or ancients on here. Because I kind of failed at the last ancient event, I won't lie. And I'm waiting for another one. Or possibly saving up gems to get that one that's actually in the store. But it's like 7,000, so that's not going to happen. We'll just wait for another ancient event, I guess. Um, and primal isn't that good so i'm not gonna use a primal dragon speaking of primal i'm not doing very well at this treasure hunt and it's purely because i don't care <laughs> i have one primal dragon on this account and i really don't care if i never get another one again primal is just not that good these dragons are cool i like this magnus horn dragon i won't lie i think it looks kind of cute 
but I just didn't care enough to log in every day, so with my amulets, I'll probably get these two epics, because it's new dragons, they're new, it's something, and honestly, if it was more interesting event that I cared about, I would actually log in. <laughs> I haven't really been playing an awful lot recently, and it's kind of sad, but I'm pretty sure we are getting a new event soon with the new update, which I need to do. You can see it here, I need to update my game. I'm terrible for updating my apps and stuff, so I will get around to it at some point. But we're actually getting a new tyrant element, I believe, which seems pretty cool. And I kind of like the idea of it. And if it really is as powerful as I believe it's going to be, I'm going to try and get it. And also I've seen some of the new tyrant dragons and they actually look kind of cool. So I will be logging in then. Oh, we got a new instant win ticket? Oh no, I didn't use them all. Okay. There we go. Just try and get like my food and my money and stuff. I got like eight portal energy I need to use as well. I will collect my gifts. Also, another thing I haven't done. Pressed the wrong thing. Another thing I haven't done really is this dungeon. I think I've done it once this whole week, which is quite bad. But I won't lie. I haven't felt interested in playing the game because the primal event just doesn't interest me. This dragon would have been really cute as well, the cinnamon dragon. That's kind of Christmassy as well. I am a little bit sad that I didn't really try, but I've never won a single dragon from the bottomless dungeon. One thing I do hope to actually achieve and complete is the sigil campaign. I think I'm on track to do kind of well, maybe. I don't know. I can't like 13 14 days to do it and i've i wouldn't say i was halfway yet but you know i think i think i can do it i mean i like doing battles for fun anyway i really i like doing battles that are slightly difficult i actually find boss battles in the sigil campaign easier than some of the other battles when they start using cruelty as a sigil cruelty and purity that's when I'm like, oh, okay, this is a battle I'm going to have to do several times because this is going to be really hard. See, I think this one's fine. Oh, it's on auto. Ugh, don't like auto. See, this one's got a purity sigil, so I'm going to concentrate on this one because now it's not completely overpowered. But I think I might actually complete this sigil campaign and, you know, get the really awesome reward. It looks a little bit scary, but I totally love it. I think it looks really cool. The sigil dragon for this month, the reward. I think it looks really, really nice. So it is something that I want in my game. So I've got to complete all these sigil battles. That is honestly the only reason I've been logging in. Like most days, I wouldn't say every day, but most days just to try and get this sigil dragon because I think it looks really cool. And we are about to win this battle. But honestly, I'm looking forward to the new update. I think it's going to be fun. Anyway, how are my Dragon Mania Legends viewers doing? I'm aware that I post a variety of games now. When I originally started out my channel, I mainly just posted The Sims. Because that was all I ever played, pretty much. All I was interested in but I've kind of got to a point where I just can't do like the same thing over and over again so I'll go through like a phase of absolutely loving to play the sims and absolutely just not wanting to play it and I realize I haven't made that many dragon mania legends videos recently so you know obviously like my different videos attract different viewers so what I'm trying to say is how are you doing? I hope you're doing good. That made absolutely no sense whatsoever. Um, I'm sorry for that. I'm getting absolutely destroyed in this battle, honestly. <laughs> absolutely destroyed. Like I said, I honestly think the boss battles are easier than some of these battles. This is just a regular battle and I am struggling so bad. Okay, maybe, maybe... I can actually win this time. Sometimes it just takes a couple of attempts, you know? 
you've got to try a different combination of elements and stuff like that, and you know, you can, you can get it sometimes. There we go, I won. No, I didn't win yet. <laughs> Stop being so enthusiastic, you haven't won yet. Okay, have I won? Have I won yet? Okay, now I've won. Anyway, I hope you're all doing well, and I think when the tyrant event starts in this game, I'm going to be playing quite a bit, because I'm going to be like super excited, and I didn't get an ancient or divine dragon on this account, mainly because I didn't have this account before the divine event, so obviously I didn't get one. I got one on my other account, and to prove it to you, I'll show you my other account. Here is my other account. I've genuinely not played this account, well it says, in 13 days, but this was my main account, and the reason I decided not to post videos on this account was because originally I began posting videos on Windows, but it was difficult to make interesting content on that account because I could sign in like once every couple of days because I wouldn't play because it was on my computer so I wouldn't really play that much and I never won anything, never got any interesting dragons or anything like that. And then I wanted to start posting videos on Android but this account was already at like level 80 or something and I thought I can't just start from a level 80 account that's going to be like so boring. So I used my sister's old Android account when she played on my phone. And then she started playing on her iPad. And I took over the account that we see now. But this was my first account. And I did in fact get Divine Dragons. So yeah, I got them. I just don't use them because I don't use that account anymore. But look, we're going to try and get some interesting dragons at the next event. But this is how everything is going right now. This is my dragons, and almost like a little update, if you will. But I super want this sigil dragon for this month. It's so cool. It's honestly so cool. This fire mage dragon. Look at the design. Honestly great. I wouldn't say the elements were like the best combination, but it looks super cool. So that's what we're going for right now. And for anyone that says that legendary materials are hard to find in this game no finding other materials are hard to find this is the reason i haven't enchanted this legendary dragon any higher is just because i don't have wind and energy materials so we're going to be here for a long time but it's fine so this is how my game's doing i also redesigned this area i unlocked some new islands haven't put anything on this one yet I redesigned this area, I need to do something with this area because I like to try and make the areas look nice so that is something that I'm kind of in the process of doing and I'm now level 75 and this is like my little avatar, my pixie dragon in League of Plants and this is my top dragon, my little seahorse, I love it. So that is how I'm doing in my game right now. So if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and comment and subscribe. You can also join my clan if you are on the European server and you are on Android. It's just called Aluminium. And I will show you my friend code if you want to add me as a friend as well. Because I know I've had a lot of comments, people wanting me to add them. So I'll show you my recruitment code. This is my recruitment code, so if you want to add me on the game, there you go. And if you add me, I'll get these rewards. I haven't had any of them yet, so go ahead. <laughs> add my recruitment code, there you go. But if you like this video, please be sure to like and comment and subscribe. And I hope you have an amazing day, and I will see you next time. Bye!